right, we are back. Are you ready to eat, Mega? I'm ready to eat. All right, where should we start? Let's start with a calm pie, shall we? All right. I'm drinking the Strong Zero. This is a, what, it's a cocktail, and it's, what, what's the name of this fruit again from Okinawa? It's called Shikwasa. Shikwasa, it's a, it's a type of lime from Okinawa. And you've got? I'm having Shochu Highball. Ooh, okay, Shochu Highball. Cheers. Cheers. Put it over ice. You just got these at the store, at the bargain store, so they don't come cold. Yeah. Not, this is the only thing that is not from a vending machine, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that is a really nice fruit. It's got kind of a bitterness to it as well. Yeah, different than lime. I like it. Mmm. Tasty. That was your highball. It's a good highball. It's a good highball? What, yeah. what flavor is it? It's just dry, right? It's dry. So not much flavor at all, right? Yeah. Okay, he's growing up quick, ladies and gentlemen. He's drinking highballs and I'm drinking fruity young people's drinks. All right. <laughs> Where are we gonna start off this? It looks like a fabulous meal. It smells amazing, right? What are you smelling? Everything. Everything. All right, make a choice. <laughs> Hurry up. Let's do the ramen. The ramen, good choice. All right, so we've got little individual bowls here. Serve yourself. That's a gorgeous looking bowl, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Okay, going in. Try to get a little bit of everything. The spice, the onions, and what all this stuff came in the kit, didn't it? Yeah. Nothing was added. Look at this. I'm going for the big piece of pork. Sorry. Well, there's two of them, so that's fair. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Noodles down. Finally, some soup. Oh, that's a thick soup stock. They need to see a close up of the soup. Yes, they do. That's pretty thick. I'm going to go right in. You want to go right in for the soup? Let's do the soup first. Okay. Oh my, it tastes like French onion soup. Wow. It's right? so tasty. <laughs> it's French onion soup. That's what it is. This is supposed to be show you, right? Yeah. It's like French onion soup. How many times do I gotta say it? Oh my gosh, we need more soup. The soup is dwindling. It tastes so good. We need all the soup. <laughs> okay. Let's try out the ramen though, shall we? Those onions, little, right? Stewed onions. Oh, some good noodles. Nice and soft. And the soup is just perfection, isn't it? Oh my gosh. That's kind of the thing with ramen, right? It's really all about the soup. Yeah. And you, you never get the same kind of soup twice. It's every chef prepares their own soup different. Oh, the pork. Oh, it's nice and fatty. Mmm. So soft. This is a banging bowl of ramen. What do you think? It's so good. I like the soup. The soup is it, right. Astonishingly surprising. Top notch. Okay, and that is gonna do it for this meal. I am stuffed. How about you? Me too. The ramen <laughs> is so filling. <laughs> Let's pause on the ramen for now. We'll come back to it later. But next. I think the Egg McMuffins are calling me, right? It's breakfast time. Yeah. I'm just gonna go finger food here. We need the sauce too. Okay, you're gonna hit it with some sauce? Yeah. Okay, yes please. So the egg is on top. Just how McDonald's does it. No, McDonald's does the egg is inside it, right? So what these really are in, Jap in Japanese is okonomiyaki, right? They're mini savory pancakes, they're calling them. But it's, it's layered like, like, an egg McMuffin, I think. There's the inside, there's the shrimp right there. Okay, it's nothing like an egg McMuffin. <laughs> no, <laughs> but it tastes like it. Okay, here we go. It tastes almost exactly like an egg McMuffin. It's so good. And that sauce, I love that tangy bulldog type of sauce. Yeah? Yeah. Fabulous. And the shrimp goes good with the Okonomiyaki. 
You think? Yeah. They're little tiny, like sweet shrimps. Really small. The silence is bliss. We might need some music over this though. If the background sound is, we've been having some mic issues recently and I'm not exactly sure how to solve the problem, but I got these groovy new headphones and we're gonna do a sound check right now. The sound is A plus. Oh my gosh, we got the sound dialed, Mega. I think. <laughs> I think. I hope. All right. What is going to be up next? It's your choice. The chicken wings? Chicken wings, yeah, let's get some of those. These are cute little things, aren't they? Yeah. They look more like frog legs to me. They're pretty tiny. Go on in. I like the skin. There's more meat on these things than I thought. A nice barbecue flavor. No? Yeah. And these are a little bit of spice. Mellow though. Compared to the, what did we just eat? The Egg McMuffins? What are they called? Okutama? The sauce on that is overpowering, right? So yeah. this is, this is a little bit more mellow. We probably should have had these first. Oh, it's a good wing though. A little bit of tanginess. A bit of sweetness. It's good. No, yeah, it's a good wing for sure. I wish we could have got more, but they were sold out. So that's how you know it's good, right? Yeah. People be buying these things. We're lucky we got one. Yeah. All right, moving on to the yakisoba. What is yakisoba in English? I always forget. Fried noodles. Fried noodles, that's right. Okay. What's in here? The standard vegetable that's in yakisoba fried noodles is cabbage, but there's also some nodi seaweed flakes on top. And if you're lucky, you get some meat, usually pork, if you're lucky, right? Yeah. Sometimes you get Zippo, <laughs> right? Or just like some very trace amounts of meat. That's the hit and miss with fried noodles in Japan. Okay, they're a little bit stuck together, but hey, it is what it is. <laughs> okay, let's do this. I'm seeing some little bits of meat in mine. How about you, Mega? I didn't got any. No, they're kind of like little morsels, if you will. All right, let's do it. I don't taste like cardboard. <laughs> you know, the noodles, they're, they're a bit on the dry side. The sauce is a bit off. You know what I mean? It's, there's a saltiness and a tanginess trying to go together, but I'd rather have these just right off the grill or the fry pan. Me too. You know, in a frozen state, heating them up. Mm, Nah. I mean, it works on a pinch if you're really hungry. Yeah? Yeah. All right, well, it is what it is. All right, moving on. Shall we break for the cool stuff segment? Are you ready? I got something really special today. I'm ready. All right. Cool stuff time, Mega. I just got back from the States and Mexico and Las Vegas, and this is a little bag of goodies for you. Thanks. Yeah, check it out. Get some. Oh yeah, you ever seen one of those before? No. Those are called, uh, I don't know what, I think they're called finger traps. So you gotta stick your finger in one end, like all the way in, jam it in there good. Okay, and then you pull, you have a little tug of war. Ow, ow, hard, dude. Okay, and then the trick is to escape, see if you can get out. Somehow, I, I can't get out because obviously I got them holding the camera. <laughs> yeah, they're called finger, tra finger traps. And you never get out of them, basically. Yeah, here, I'll just put the camera down. Okay, so the way you do get out is, like, I mean, you don't get out. <laughs> <laughs> the way you get out is, you gotta push it from, uh, reverse it, there we go, okay, out. He's stuck forever, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Okay, moving on. Let's give him a round of applause. All right, this is Mexican, Mexican round of applause. That's actually pretty cool. That's actually really cool. He is stuck, ladies and gentlemen. We got him. We got the Mega Brand. <laughs> round of applause for the Mega Brand. Hurry up, because I got more stuff in the bag here. Nice, well done. That, yeah, you got out of it. Yeah. So well done. We're gonna nickname you 
Don Chingon. Don Chingon means basically the man, the badass. Yeah, it means you are connected in many ways. Yeah, it just... It... And there's something... Oh, there. someone in the back? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right, I made that. That's that's the opposite. So Don Pendejo is, you know, like loser, basically. Saying it politely, loser. Yeah, so. The idea for this is, this is gonna go on your door. Let's show them what we got in the hallway here. Let me give you a, not a house tour, but a, a door tour. This is the dude's got it's room. He doesn't live here anymore. This says, can you read that? This has to do Okay, so Shacho, that means like company president, basically, or CEO, Shacho. That's his room. And then your room is here. We're gonna put that, put that on your door. Don Chingon. Don Chingon definitely trumps the Shacho. Yeah, I, I think. Yeah, that's nice. And then the okay. idea is the next time your brother comes into the town, there you go, nice. Oh, that's, ooh, you worked it out perfect. So when your brother comes into town, right before he gets here, we're gonna... Here, show him what we're gonna do. <laughs> We've already got an idea. We rehearsed this a little bit. <laughs> so when is this gonna happen? Yeah, and that one. Yeah. So look at that, Alf. that fits right over the shacho. So the company president has been demoted to loser. Don pendejo, yo. <laughs> Let's leave it like that. <laughs> All right, so what else we got? What else is in the bag? Okay, what is that? I forget what that is. I got that at the US Open Surf Contest in Huntington Beach. It's Pacifico, which is a Mexican beer or cerveza, and it's a bandana. Whatever you use a bandana for. I use it for like magic tricks and stuff. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I think, I thought. Okay, and... Also, let's see, let's move over to Las Vegas now. After California, I went to Las Vegas. And these are beer cozies. So high one, this is for your first drink. And uh, here, can you hold this for a second? So beer cozies. It's kind of pointless because there's nothing inside here, <laughs> but you get the idea. So high one. And then on your second drink, you come over here and then your high two, like that. I don't know, I guess that's how it works. And then, here's the old classic, the classic Sin City one. This is my favorite. With the, with the hottie. Oh yeah, Sin City, get some. Same thing on the other side. Yeah, beer cozies. Pointless if you're drinking out of a mug. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, here, let me demonstrate this, this little bugger. Ready in three, two, one. Oh, love Las Vegas, y'all. Oh, it feels so good. It's so huge. Right, everything in Vegas is huge. Yeah, huge noise, huge production. Yeah, Vegas. And then last but not least, here we go. And I got this in Mexico in a town called San Miguel de Allende. Got it in a little toy shop. Wind it up. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Push the button. And it's gonna be showtime. Ready in three, two, one, blast off. <laughs> Woo! Party on! Isn't that the best toy ever? What do you think, Mega? It's the best toy ever. You're welcome. <laughs> cool stuff. I think that might have been the best cool stuff segment ever. What do you think? I mean, it might be a little biased, but I think we did pretty good. Yeah. It glows in the dark, yo. Game over. <laughs> and we are back for round two. This is dessert time. So I think we'll start with the cookies, followed by this amazing looking rare cheesecake. Shall we? What's first, Mega? 
We gotta do these. This is, yeah. We gotta do these. This, this is weird. This is something we've never done before. So these are called onigiri cookies. Rice ball cookies. What? What? <laughs> I mean, Shonan Cookie, this company makes so many different kinds of cookies. And, oh, okay, they're a little bit smashed up. They do look like, they do look like only mm -hmm. This is the display. Okay. And then this is the real product. Interesting, huh? Well, they got them in the triangle shape. Okay. Let's just open one package. Share them, huh? Okay. They just kind of fell apart. Okay. Rice ball cookies. They are not sweet whatsoever. Come on, it's like puffed rice crackers. They're crackers, they're not cookies. I wouldn't feed these to my dog. I mean, I guess they're, they're a healthy cookie. <laughs> yeah. I was just be. expecting a little sweetness, you know, right? I definitely need a chaser for that. Interesting, no? It's, it's a nice try. Yeah. I think if they were calling it a sembe, a cracker, instead of a cookie. I mean, it is. It's the Shonan Cookie Company. All right, let's move on to the sweet stuff. This one's calling me the caramel almond. I just love the packaging with this one. This is a new one. I haven't seen this one before. It's, you get a lot of them. I'll just give you the basic, what it looks like here. What you see is what you get, huh? The almonds right there in the center. Cute, right? That's cute. Mmm. Oh, it's good. It's a good nut. So the nut is coated in like a honey sauce, I believe. Very sweet, right? It's caramel. Oh, it's caramel. Duh. It's caramel, Eric. Honey sauce? Isn't caramel and honey sauce the same thing? No. no. <laughs> They're good. I really like that. The caramel and the almond go well together. Yeah. It's a sugar cookie. It's nice. Okay. Moving on, let's compare that to your favorite one. The red beige tastes really good. Okay. Does it though? Mmm. Oh yeah. That jam's got the right amount of chewiness. Yeah. And a nice Absolutely. flavor. Ah, oh, this looks good. Give me another one. Give me another one. Can't stop, can't stop. Pulse up, can't stop, can't stop. These, these are genius. And the cookie itself, it's a sugar cookie, really soft. I love the jam. It's like it's, it's a gumminess to it. Well, yeah. Well, like a gummy. It's chewy. It's chewy, yeah. It's good. It's really good. Not too sweet, just right, I think. Okay, what else we got? You open one. This one has four types of cookies. All right, a mixed bag, huh? Okay, I'm gonna go for this one. This is what popped out. What are you going for? This guy? I'm gonna go for the plain one. Okay. That is a good looking cookie right there. You're going for the plain gang? Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is chocolate and vanilla together. Oh, it's really good. How's yours? Mine has almonds. Almonds? Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll go for one of those. Are you sure? Four kinds? Oh yeah, here's the other one. Are you sure? The plain one had almonds, okay. I'm gonna go for, yeah, this has got some kind of nuts in it too. I'm gonna have a chocolate one. Okay. This is cookie number three. And then that's number four. This one, the texture of the cookie's a lot harder. And the nuts is, wow, oh, these nuts are good. I think peanuts. Really nice, a nice taste. Fresh. Yours? Yeah. I like the flavor of the, the chocolate. Chocolate, chocolate flavor is good. And this, good. this also has some nuts in it? Yeah. Great cookies, right? I don't know how, how they keep these things fresh for so long. It's incredible, right? Yeah. From the vending machine cookies. They're amazing. Did we not save the best for last, the longboard cookies? Yeah, yeah, there they are, the longboard cookies. Don't okay, reach in there, grab one, everybody. Grab two, grab three, help yourselves. Okay, let's go surfing. Does that look like a surfboard to you guys? It does not. Not giving them points for the shape of the surfboard. One out of six. But, smell it. Six out of six. Yeah. Taste it. Oh, seven out of six. 
just love the crunch and the flavor, all oh, the cinnamon. I want to put air on your chest. <laughs> this is a man's cookie. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. Mm. What? It's got spice. In fact, no. You gotta do at least two. What do you think? Do you agree with me? I agree. Four. It's a man's Solid. cookie. Solid. It's got some good crunch to it. Good hazel nuttiness. It like clears your sinuses. Just like, like is if you got a cold or something, you just have a couple of these guys. You're gonna be cured immediately. Maybe. But it's kind of like, not like wasabi, but there's a little bit of, right? Yeah. Medicinal. They're medicinal cookies, like a medicine. But Eric, how can a cookie be like a medicine? Well, it can't. <laughs> But this is, <laughs> somehow. I can't explain it. Longboard cookies. The winner. What was your favorite, Mega? The raspberry cookies. Yeah, of course. <laughs> All right, but we have got one more item here from the vending machine. Rare cheesecake. What does that even mean, rare cheesecake? I think it means no preservatives, right? They don't add anything to it. Maybe. Maybe. Chopsticks? Toothpicks, fingers, what we gonna do? Chopsticks. Okay. <laughs> I lost my chopstick. Oh, 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 it's gooey. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it reminds me of cottage cheese or something. It's sour. It's sour. It's sour. I like the raspberry on top, but the cheese is. I think it's a little bit too rare for me. I, I would like it cooked medium, please. Not not rare. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit weird. It's a little bit weird. My stomach feels a little queasy. Okay, let's reset. Reset. Okay, it's not over till it's over. I'm gonna do another one just just to make sure. Now that my palate is cleansed, you two are you in? Yeah. I will say that the, the breading on the bottom is nice. On it. Okay, wait, it's good. Better that time. It's the texture that's weird. It's fluffy. Right? I expect yeah. it to be more dense. It's really fluffy, that's what it is. And it doesn't strike me that like a cheesecake should be fluffy, but that's what this is. It's fluffy. And it needs to be more sweet. I think. Yeah, it's very, it's more cheesy than it is like sugary. Yeah. Well, there you go, rare cheese. Now we know what it is. It's <laughs> it. This is it. This is the thing. <laughs> Not for me. Okay, so do we have anything else to do, Mega? I think we're good. We're good. I think we're going to wind this one up. And we have some other stuff scheduled coming up. We've got a QA that's coming up pretty soon. We'll do that with the wheel again. Right? Yeah. The loser's wheel of fortune. What is it called? The whatever. We don't. That thing. <laughs> and then um, we have a big box that just arrived. We were going to do it for this video, but we thought, no, we have sweets already. So we're going to open a big box that somebody sent in the next video that we do together. So look forward to that. We want to thank you guys for watching. And before we do anything else, we need to rate this meal. Right? Yeah. Before we say goodbye. And yeah. So. The way it works here, if you're not familiar, it's one out of six. One out of six is, would be a yuck. It's not one out of six. Help me out. <laughs> Throw me a bone. Throw me a longboard cookie. <laughs> the rating works out of six. We rate out of six. One is the lowest, is a yuck, and six is the highest, is a num num num, it's lit, yo. Where are you gonna go, one out of six? Give us a number. I'm gonna go four out of six. Four out of six, he's going gnome. Man, what was your favorite thing of the meal? The ramen. The ramen, hands down. Me too. I think the ramen was delicious. Worst thing? Yakisoba. Yakisoba. Ugh. But I don't know, had we ate the yakisoba first? It, you know, when you're really hungry, that first item, whatever it is, is usually like, just... Yeah. yeah. The caveman. The caveman talking. I think I would give it a five out of six. Not bank, I know. I mean, that's what it is. So, it was pretty close to a six. The ramen was definitely banging for sure. And the cookies, you can't go wrong with these. I love the Shonan cookie. Different varieties that they have. They're always coming out with new stuff. 
It's great that it's, it's a local company in our area and they distribute exclusively through vending machines. You can't buy them anywhere else. They're not, they're not sold in stores. So I like that about them. And the rare cheesecake, I don't know, the jury's still out. Hey, you guys know what rare cheesecake is? Help us out, isn't it? <laughs> so that's gonna do it for this one. We wanna thank you guys again for watching. If we forgot to thank you already, we look forward to reading your comments. And I am going to help Mega out here. He's got some rare cheesecake right there. Okay, got it. Don't want to leave any rare cheese on your lip. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and we will we will exit this video with go! <laughs> okay, this video is so over.